Hey Dynamics 365ers, it's Vinny Tez here and in this vlog today I'm going to be showing you how you can enable terms and conditions for GDPR in Dynamics portals. So the scenario is GDPR is now in effect and you need to display terms and conditions to your users as part of the account sign up in Dynamics portals. You can do this today without any code and only requires configuration. So let's jump straight into it. A couple of releases back, there was some features that were made available in preparation for GDPR. And when you head over to the docs.microsoft.com site, um, it'll tell you what's new in Dynamics Portals when you scroll down. And when you click on this link, it will take you to another docs.microsoft.com um, webpage that will tell you how you need to enable your GDPR in terms of the terms and conditions for Dynamics Portals. And this is what I'll go through now. So the first thing that you want to do is head over to Content Snippets and we are going to enter in the text for the terms and conditions. So by default, this will be blank and this is something you have to update um, so that the users can see what the policy is around um, Dynamics Portals as part of them signing into your, your site. So the one that you want to update for the content snippet is conditions copy. So open that record up and this is where you can copy and paste your text in. So for the purpose of this demo, I simply researched for a sample online and this is what I came across and this is the document that I had found. So I'm going to go ahead and copy the content that is in here and we're going to go ahead and paste it in the content snippet. Sorry, I was clicking around there. Um, yeah, so here's the text I've just pasted. So I'm going to get rid of um, these flags. So these are just anchors that came from the document. So I'm just simply getting rid of them and then we can go ahead and save this content snippet and exit from the content snippet. So in total, there were four that were introduced as part of the release. And these four content snippets are these ones um, over here. So if you ever wanted to change um, like the agreement text statement, this is where you would go and update it. And then if you wanted to update the label on the button, you go and update this content snippet as well as the heading. So then the final step that you want to do is en enable a site setting um, so that it can now take um, place whenever someone signs into the portal. So the site setting that we want to update is this one, authentication slash registration slash terms agreement enabled. So by default, this will be set to false. So we set this to true and we hit save and that's it. So now let's head over to our portal and test it out. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to create a brand new account to sign into the portal. So I'm going to create my new account. and click register. And now, as you can see, we now have terms and conditions displayed and that content that I had copied and text, uh, copy and pasted will now appear. And if you um, hover over your hyperlinks, you can now see that the hyperlinks work as well. And you'll notice that the user won't be able to continue unless they um, click on I agree to these terms and conditions. Cool. So now when I click continue, then the normal behavior uh, of Dynamics Portals will come into effect. So now I'm in the profile page um, after I have signed in. So I'll just go ahead and enter in um, my first name and last name and hit submit. Okay, so another um, site setting that has also been introduced as part of the GDPR feature is something called um, Terms Publication Date. So if this is left blank, 
and the user signs back in. They are going to continuously be um, displayed the terms and conditions. So if you don't want them to constantly agree to these terms and conditions whenever they sign in, this is where we enter in a value in this site setting. So in here, this is where you can enter in a GMT date and time value. So what I did was um, I just checked to see what the format is, is for GMT, which is this one. And then I also checked to see what um, time I could apply as part of this, as part of this blog. So the GMT date and time that I'm going to use is this one, because this means that um, if it's past 6 p.m. Sunday, which is the time over here in Melbourne, then it's not, it's not going to show um, if they've accepted the terms and conditions. So now if I go back to the site setting and I copy and paste that value and I hit save, but before I do that, let's just sign out. So hit save and now we can sign back in. Cool. So now let's sign back in as Aaron Rogers. And just like that, the terms and the conditions will not apply. And that is today's blog. So what I showed you was how you can enable terms and conditions for GDBR and Dynamics portals. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'm also on Twitter so you can follow me and I also have my own blog on benitasio.blogspot.com. And yeah, um, I'll see you next time. Bye!